Welcome back to the third episode of the Dark Anthology series, Little Hope. We are looking for a working phone. And I think I have just the thing. We have a winner. Found a phone. This could be our way out. Mine's dead. <coughs> I didn't even bother making sure it works. <laughs> Shit! <laughs> Whoa! Hey! Take it easy. Can you stop reacting to every setback like a child? Look here. The cable is missing. I... Uh... There's got to be a cable here someplace. Let me guess. It's up to me to find it. Just making sure it doesn't work. Because personally, I don't trust the guy. <laughs> All right. Cable, cable, cable. I didn't see a cable coming all the way uh, in here. And I believe I've been pretty thorough. This was the moon. Cable. Where could a cable be? What is that? What do you think? Answer it. I can do this. Be careful. Don't stress it, Professor. It's a phone! Be careful! What can you hear? A woman. She sounds real upset. You have to calm whoever it is down. You'll get nothing if they're hysterical. Can you tell me what you're upset about? As I walked, a man appeared at my front. I reached out in fear. I had not seen him approach. This man I had never seen before. He's Clothes and manner of speaking were not familiar to me. Okay, it's all good. I'm gonna help you out here if I can, but I... I need to know your name. <laughs> I'm so falsely accused of... <laughs> Get off of me! girl I would speak with you you cannot talk of our secret eternal damnation awaits if you do we have an understanding do we not no evil words shall leave my lips should you breathe a word or the edge of a word about the other things then I will come to you in the black of some terrible night and bring a reckoning that will shudder you now Reverend let us begin enough time has gone begging Go be with you, kin. I beseech this court, and good Judge Wyman, do not be fooled by the protestations of the accused. The devil is the master of deceit. All his servants feign innocence. They can do little else. I solemnly swear before God, I am innocent of all accusations against me. Hush now, Amy. What the hell should we do? We need to stay. this play out. See what happens. I mean no offense, Reverend Carver. I do not believe any of my neighbors, those who know me best, will speak out against me. They know who I am, that I side with the righteous. I will not be caught in the web of your deception. The devil hides himself where he is least expected. My wife is no devil's plaything, Reverend. 
I beg the court's forgiveness. But I stand by my statement. My wife Amy is innocent. I respectfully ask this good court to pay no mind to the words of a man whose very home is foul with the stench of brimstone. Let us conclude our business here without further ado, lest we afford the forces of darkness the opportunity to bend these proceedings to their will. Go! Mary? Mary, my sister, what ails you? What the...? Stay out of this. What have you done to this child? You have bound an innocent girl into a pact with the devil himself. The poor creature seems possessed. No doubt you're doing. It's not true, Reverend. Why have you taken against me so? We will the see the truth of it. Of Amy, lay your hands on Mary. Let us see what occurs. If I am correct, your you touch will release her from this affliction. What ails you? It must be so, if you are the one who bewitched her. Leave her alone! Who speaks? Who's there? God preserve us. Please. The master, can I help you now? It is too late. They are here among us. They are here among us. No! What more proof is needed that the devil walks among us in little <laughs> hole? Take heed and pray. The devil is here in this very room. Protect yourselves. Seek out the Lord. How was that shit? Was that for real? Didn't the witch trials happen centuries ago? Most of them over 300 years ago. Then how come we just saw one? Like I say, I have no good explanation. I can't believe how much that woman looked like me. How in the hell is that even possible? And I thought she when would be in shock. Me, I thought you were messing with me or exaggerating. But seeing that woman for myself was a whole world of weirdness. She took it pretty well, considering. That little girl who had some kind of seizure. What do you think was going on there? I know that little girl. She's the one me and Angela saw back in the woods. That woman, my double? What's she looking at if the trial goes against her? The sentence for confirmed witches in Little Hope was always brutal. Violent death, drowning, hanging, burning. And let's hope she is, or was, found innocent. Accusations were often malicious, made by someone with a grudge. Or by meddling liars, like that little girl who took perverse pleasure in poisoning their own communities. I'm with you. That kid knew exactly what she was doing when she dropped Angela 2.0 deep in the shit. That woman, my double, was very distressed, almost traumatized. Yeah. It was tough to watch, for sure. I noticed something else weird. Her husband? He looked a lot like you, Professor. The two people with that little brat look just like Daniel and Taylor. What the hell does all this mean? Who's that? Hey, Professor! You in there? Come on, let's go. <laughs> Are you telling me he didn't notice that he looked just like him? Hey, Taylor! We're in here! We can't open the damn doors! Uh, we can't either! They must be locked! Let's all try to force the handle! In three, two, one... The 
riveting Taylor. gameplay. Hey, Professor. Find anything that could get us out of here? Nah, big fat nothing back there. Just a pile of junk. Still think splitting up was a smart move? I would say I'm now more open to exploring other options. I'm glad you two are finding this funny. Personally, I think we're in deep shit here. You know what happened to your devil, right? She was accused of witchcraft. Not just accused. Tried, found guilty, and condemned. We need to know what that woman is facing. What's gonna happen to her next? I like the idea. But how would we even begin to find that out? We've already been down those paths. Maybe the answer lies down the one path we haven't taken yet. What the hell? This is fucking crazy. We have no clue what we're getting ourselves into. It's already been a hell of a night, but I'm sure we'll pull through. The geeky exterior is all play. There's a warrior in there. Oh boy, I'm playing as John. I didn't look at his sheet. Resolute, irritable, curious. Where is fearful? Dismissive is pretty close to being unlocked. My relationship with Taylor is garbage. Same with Angela. Doing okay with Daniel and Andrew? What else do we got? These do not unlock in order, apparently. At least I don't think so. Uh, otherwise, we've lost a bunch of things. Same with premonitions. All of these things are unlocked, though. Wait, which way are we going? Uh, this way. Is this the building we were just in? I can't tell. It's pretty dark. Tilly Johnson. A promising young author who died tragically after writing her first novel. This is broken down. I just noticed someone broke it. 1836, 1858. Taylor, you need to see this. You've got to be kidding me. What is that thing? You ever have any family here? In this shithole? No way. Why does that weird fucking thing look like me? Would you like to read her the plaque? She was an author. Was she a sister of the little girl or her mother? Is this the bridge from before? No, I can't be right. We're walking deeper into the village now. I can't see for shit. <laughs> Jesus! The water looks black. I don't want to go anywhere near it. If the water looked white instead, would you have gladly dove in it? Okay. Who's first up? Hmm. Huh. Professor? 
you keep telling us you're in charge, so. Okay, sure thing. Is it safe to cross? Don't stress. The professor and me will make sure you get across, no problem. You don't know whether it's safe to cross or not. To pretend otherwise is just a load of crap. Okay, so we just hang around here and do nothing? <laughs> Something is gonna go terribly wrong. Can't stay here. In this year of our Lord, sixteen hundred and ninety two. We are here present to bear witness to a just execution. No! Amy is declared guilty of consorting with the devil and is to be drowned as a witch and sorceress. Let us pray in silence for her soul. I've done no wrong. I am no witch. I do not deserve death. I beg you. I don't know how to help you. Tell me what I can do. Please, sir. You must help me. You must. The devil is in the wind, seeking to help his own. He would release her from the chains. Isaac, let us conclude our business here swiftly. The will of the court must be imposed before it's too late. The devil fortifies her. You must bind her tightly. You cannot do this! Isaac, I am innocent. fulfill the will of the court. Send this witch back into the lap of her master, lest he come for Hold us all. It. Little Orp is already lost, shrouded in evil. But not as you claim from witchcraft or outside demons, we are poisoned from within. You will not save yourself with riddles. There is no riddle. The devil takes many forms. You know that better than any. In Lil Hope, he has hid himself under a shroud of innocence, taken the form of a child by a accuser. While Mary still draws breath, Lil Hope remains beyond salvation. There lies your evil reference in your very face. Isaac. Oh shit, nobody's there to help Angela? What did you see? Tell me. I don't know how to tell you what I just saw. Your double was pushed into the river in chains. She drowned.
All right, I'll go first. <clears throat> okay, you two, get on down here. I'm surprised we have survivors after this. Or do we? What the hell is that? What is that thing? Get away from it! Run! Get the hell out of there! Look out! Shit! Hold on, hold on. I'm coming back for you, John. Hold on. Reach up and grab my hand. Jump up and grab onto me. Okay, I, I trust you. That was anticlimactic. Phew, that was really quite close for Angela. She was almost lost to a fate worse than death. Not that there's anything particularly wrong with death. <laughs> well done. Not a soul lost so far. Things could have been quite different. As the stakes seem to have been elevated, that gun might prove to be a lifesaver. Don't you think? Or the precise opposite? The boys have some interesting theories. Could they, as Andrew has suggested, be the reincarnated souls of their historical counterparts? Or maybe you're choosing to believe Daniel's theory, that they're already dead. My dream was lengthened after life. Oh, then began the tempest to my soul. I passed, methought, the melancholy flood with that sour ferryman, which poets write of unto the kingdom of perpetual night. <laughs> it's possible, I suppose. Maybe the bus driver can shed some light. This must be very confusing for you right now. Doppelgangers, witches, ghosts, death, and demons. What could possibly tie all of these souls together? I dare say we'll find out, hmm? I have been granted permission to give you a single hint. Tempted? Sure thing! <laughs> okay then, we will once again turn to the Bard for some cryptic inspiration. I met him once, you know. I meet everybody. Once. Act 5, Scene 1, where Cleomenes begs Leontes to forgive himself for causing the death of Hermione. Do as the heavens have done. Forget your evil. With them, forgive yourself. Go on then. As terrifying as it might be, 
You should get back to it. God, I love the curator so much. He's so good. Wait! What in the name of holy fuck was that? I've never seen anything like it. It was like something from a nightmare. Did you see the way it looked? The gaping mouth, those dead soulless eyes? Whatever it was, it's gone now. I was nearly gone. If that thing had caught me, it was so close. You've had the crap scared out of you. We all have. But at least we got the fuck away from it. We did. Thank God we're all okay. Right now, we're safe. That thing, whatever the fuck it was, is still out there. Could be hunting us as we speak. It was in chains. Just like the woman who went in the water. I don't believe that's coincidence. Either of you see what happened to Taylor and Daniel? They can't be far behind us. Let's just get out of here. We are in the graveyard! Oh boy! Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy! Here lies a body of Isaac Worrell, aged 43 years, deceased October 21st, 7002. Request and pace. Wait a minute, was there anything else to it? No, don't see anything, okay. Guys, wait for me, please. Thank you. Are we trying to save us from ourselves? Can we keep moving? I don't feel safe here. This is what I'm getting so far. Like, we are trying to save ourselves from the iterations of the past. They're following me, meaning this is the way to go. Hold up, hold up. Oh. <laughs> John, what the hell, my dude? Oh, we could go either way. I want to go this way. Here lies a body of Thomas Wyman. Department Gover- Department? Department Governor and Magistrate. Died July 30th, 1701, and of his wife Mary Wyman, who departed this life in 1699. Uh, so he died like two years later? Okay, who are we meeting next? I'm guessing everybody had a tragic fate. Moving on from here. No, we're looking for more clues. The graveyard is a joyful place to be. We've got to get away from here. That thing is out there. Now, don't be hasty. We're still looking around. Here lies the body of Abraham Alastor, died February 13th, 1699. Factum fieri, infectum non potest. Abraham. Who was Abraham? Should be heading back from here. I'm looking for some secrets, though. Get out of my way, John! Oh, this is the graves of the others. 
They all died in the same place. James Clark. That's the drunk. Anne Clark was the wife, loving mother. I'm impressed someone cares enough to still drop by this place. True. Tania A. Clark. So they were they were all related. Daughter and sister. She was hanged. Dennis Clark. Beloved son and brother. And finally, Megan. Tragedy to lose someone at that age. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. One of them is missing, right? The wife, the husband. There were two brothers, one sister, and one extra sister. So... Who is still alive? Or who made it? We don't know what happened to him. This guy, uh, Andrew, used to be... What was his name? In the 72 series. Apparently he didn't die. A secret. What is this? A pendant of a son? Something else over here. Is that what I looked at? Yeah. Now I'm curious. Let's keep going this way. What you looking at? Can I talk to you? What was his name? In the 1972 tragedy. Oh my god. I can't remember. It wasn't Abraham, right? Oh, that can't be right. These people were from the past. During the witch hunt incident. Before I get lost into the graveyard. Did we come through here? Let's have another look around, quick like. Thomas Wyman? Yeah, we saw that. We should be very close to the execution site from here. Let's stay away from that bridge. I'm all for putting as much distance between us and that hideous thing as we can. Pretty sure Daniel and Taylor would be thinking the same thing. Out of sight, quick! Shit! You okay? I panicked, okay? <laughs> Stupid old fool. Can I get some peace around here? 
Best to keep out of his way, I reckon. We should talk about what the woman said before they drowned her. The little girl has to be stopped. She was talking about stopping the witch trials, right? I'm not sure. It's funny in times like on, this, you get go. to find the crunchiest, tiny little branch and you step on it at the right exact time. I'll go in and take a look around. How you doing? I I'm wondering if that oh, thing could be coming after us. Don't think it's coming after us. What makes you so sure? You and me gotta stay real close now. So now you're all soft eyes and smiles, huh? When you say close, how close exactly? This close? Fine, I'll play your game. A little closer. A little bit more. Since it's so romantic out here anyway. <laughs> God, you guys are terrible. What's that? Nothing, probably. I heard something. I used to like you, Taylor. I have changed my mind. All you think about is sexy times. Little Hope, historical trail, witch... Oh, they will get to the witch trail before the others do. We're on the right track. I don't like this. I want to go another way. Don't think there is another way. Perfect. The map. I needed that. Quite the tourist trail. Not a place I want to revisit. Okay, so we are headed directly to the Massacre Memorial. Perfect. If you guys want to get it on, that's the best opportunity you'll ever get. It got pretty worse during Until Dawn, but yeah, this one is pretty close to getting the cake. Hey, over here. You gotta check this out. That thing could still be around here, in the water. No, we left that thing way behind. We must have. Maybe it's a good swimmer. Oh, shit. You're going first, right? You weigh half what I do. Better if you lead. I'm not crossing this crapped out bridge. No way. To find the others, we gotta cross. We got no choice. Fine. I'm heading across. You can follow me. If the bridge is still standing. Okay, then. We made it. What the hell is that? Another creature of the night. Invisible wall, too bad. We cannot investigate. Left or right, right or left. Invisible wall, okay.
Uh oh. Did it happen again? You, uh, still with me? Hello? Ah, oh, shit. What? How? How did you get here? Ugh, never mind. You see this? I read that witch rave. I'm like, oh, right, cool. They were having parties back in the day. Witch grave. The stone is believed to mark the burial place of the first person executed during the Little Hope witch trials. Fun times. Let's get out of here. <gasps> Daniel! <gasps> get your hands off us! Wait. Mary? Mary? Mary! I am over this way! Mary, the fountain of all evil is here. That little kid is the evil here? I don't, I don't get it. My beloved Amy proclaimed it so with her dying testimony. If this evil is to end, Mary must be stopped. Who in the hell are you? Why do you look just like John? I have no answers for you. Perhaps I'm already under a witch's spell. There it lies. I found it. How did you come by this? Fashioned with my own hand. I take it to protect you. Suspicion and betrayal walk side by side in Little Hope. No one is safe. Please, Tabitha, let me keep it. Okay. What was that all about? Nothing. No working phone anywhere. Okay, so it looks like we really are trapped here. Still no sign of them? Nope. Not yet. I just hope they're both okay. I figured we'd have found the bus driver by now. Wonder where he's at. Why can't you leave us alone? I think she wants us to go after her. You want to follow her? She could be leading us into danger, even a trap. The two girls we've seen. One is from the past. This one is from here and now. Maybe the girl we're seeing here is somehow a mirror image of the girl from the 17th century. Don't you want to wait for Daniel and Taylor? If they were coming this way, they'd be here by now. <sighs> yeah, sure. Let's follow the evil little kid. Stay loose. Who knows what's up ahead? Wait for us. Shoo! Ugh, disgusting. Guys, you there? Uh oh. That was too fast, that's not fair! Oh, she's dead.
Oh god, find a way out of the sewer? Great. Fun freaking tastic. At least now something is happening. Just follow the light. Oh, would you mind moving a little faster, please? Yeah, just take your time, Angela. It's not like something is trying to kill you! <laughs> you might want to close that door behind you! Bro. She is... Dead. Angela, shit, no. Wait, wait a minute. We don't have a body. What did she do to deserve that? She might still be alive. It's just you and me now. Until Taylor and Daniel get to us. Hey. And before you say anything, I pressed all the buttons as I saw them. I didn't make a mistake. However, the game thought I did make a mistake. There's something blocking the door. Give me a hand, will ya? We'll see how that plays out, because I'm pretty sure she's still alive. We do not have a body just yet. This place is a museum of some kind. She in there? Relax. This doesn't feel right. Stay focused. We're not having a rerun of what just happened to Angela. You sure about that? I'll do whatever it takes to keep us both safe. Once we're out of here, we'll hook up with the others. That's if they're still alive. <gasps> a museum. Perfect. Why is this kid out here on her own? It's strange. Maybe she's linked to Mary somehow? Gotta be. Though how and why, I'm not sure of yet. Eight dollars? The New England Witch Trials. Oh, I'm not gonna read it. Okay. Uh, sorry, if you are expecting of me to read this, I'm pretty sure I cannot. Can we try the lights? Fucking mannequins. Disturbing. It creeped the hell out of me. Yes, very. I was expecting a spook here, but... Disappointed. Amy Lambert, first of the accused. Emmy was accused of witchcraft by the girl Mary Milton, who claimed she saw her fly on a twig of willow. When told by the court that Amy had been seen by witnesses many miles away, Mary stated, I saw her lips ever chattering to who knew what and recognized her as a demon sent to me in Amy's form. Pastor Carver admitted this into the record as spectral evidence. This is what the trial was all about. People being in cahoots with the devil. Right. And this kid, Mary, who snitched on everyone. 
That's gotta be the girl we're seeing. Mary Milton confessed the truth of the wickedness I have witnessed before the Sabbath day Mistress Amy did by the ash tree commune with Black Samuel, a spirit in the form of a dog that spoke with the voice of a man. Then she spun three times around and agreed to serve the spirit and deliver the children of the village to it. Then she made a puppet and placed a spell upon it to curse those who would oppose her. These and uh, what? I don't know what, I, I don't know how to read the next word. Foul things I have seen. Simon Carver. Fucking superstitious pricks, man. A lot of them. This is the same trial we saw back in the police station. Disturbing me alike. Why are those ready for transfer? Who is transferring them? And why? Kitty! The window is ready for transfer. <laughs> I am not done here. That's a very uh, small museum. Cannot open the door here. We saw that. The fuck is this? The hell? And then this is how we got in. Why is it locked? John? What did you do? Would it be too obvious if this was a spook? Oh, please don't pick that up. The enclosed puppet or doll is thought to have- Hey! Take a look at this. I was reading, Andrew! I've seen this before. Where? On the road outside that shitty little bar we stopped at. Angela and me saw it laying there, picked it up. Right before that kid Mary scared us for the first time. Interesting. You think she maybe let us here? Wanted us to see this? Let's take a proper look. What the hell, Professor? There are many, many stories about how spirits can attach themselves to objects. Sure, in movies. Take it easy, will you? What if Mary's spirit is somehow attached to this thing? We burn it, and this could all end right here. Look at it another way. Maybe by burning her precious things, it's just gonna piss the kid off. You might be right. her off if I were you. We can get out this way. Where'd that little girl get to? She let us in here and then disappeared. Maybe that was her plan all along. Lead us to the puppet. Job done. I'm not sure about that. <sighs> I 
Almost out of juice. No signal out here anyway. What are you holding? I kind of forgot. When did you find a freaking flashlight? You hear that? Maybe. Heard something. Not sure what. Guys? Professor? That you in there? Can we just get out of here? What if it's Angela? And she's still alive? Where the hell are the others? Probably as lost as us. You think they're looking for us? Could be. Angela's got no interest in finding me. That's for sure. She's got a mean streak, all right. But she's got some heart. <laughs> you sure about that? Yeah. I've known her for a long time. Longer than any of you. She's been through some real shit. But she's... Oh, come to... I was listening to that! <sighs> all right. Ten bucks says no one's home. I'm not touching that. Still... First place we've seen in a while. Find a way in? Like you found a way into that store? You a burglar in your spare time? <laughs> no. But I was in a past life. Ha <laughs> ha. <laughs> what a sense of humor. Of course, it's locked. Oh, we can't. No, no. Don't. 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 No. No, 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 no. No. Don't do it. Hey, Taylor. Check this out. That was not. Oh. Check what out? Don't think anyone's visited for a long time. Oh, yeah. And that's 10 bucks you owe me. Don't owe you squat. I never took the bet. Fair enough. It's loose. I can jimmy this open, no problem. We could have a big powwow about who goes in first, but we both know what's gonna happen. Right. Sure thing. Whoa, what the? What? That's. Oh, Easy now, tough guy. Don't beat up the scary doll. Funny. Get your ass in here. Come on. This way. Here come the spooks. Wait a minute. What is the shadow to the left? These things look so real. They're freaking me out. <laughs> What's up? I just, I just saw something. Where the hell are you going? You sure this is a good move? Nope. Someone hasn't seen horror movies in a while. I saw this with the others, but, um, yeah, you never know. It might be a different kind of reaction. He is not even gonna ask, hey, uh, Taylor, are you okay? Your 
Taylor! You okay? <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> Is this a comedy or what? Guys, sorry. I was supposed to play horror games for Spooktober. I apologize for this. <laughs> This is ridiculous. Come on. What happened? I heard voices. I saw my fucking self looking back at me, dressed all weird, speaking funny. I mean, what the fuck? Sorry I wasn't there for you. This woman, the one who looked like me, they just dragged her out like some kind of criminal. I mean, shit. Are we missing out on the plot of the past? Let's get out of here. I hear that. What was in the box? For display only. Oh, if it's a rusty knife. I found a knife. Maybe it was a knife once, when dinosaurs roamed the earth. Think we should bring it along? No. Here. You take it. No, this is how you get uh, tetanus. Why? It's obvious, dummy. Self-defense. Ah, oh, shit. No, you keep it. You take it. You know, just in case. I hate this. I shouldn't have picked it up. I have made a huge mistake. She's gonna... Excuse me, ma'am. She's gonna stab somebody. This door was locked before? Yeah, we haven't been in here with the other two. Wait a minute, the book is different now. Holy Bible? Oh, that kind of holy Bible. The elements being far from their acu accustomed places, the homo... Genius parts are dislocated. It is possible to resolve each into elementary form. A line is produced by the displacement of a point. It must be the same here. Body, soul, and spirit. The moros, monos, moros? Hieroglyphica, the threefold magic of the first fathers. Far from their accustomed displacement of a point. I, I don't understand this. Huh. I would read that Holy Bible. Just saying. Lock it. I should be locked as well. Yep. If there is a significance to this, I don't see it. All right, let's go back, I suppose. Whoa. Sorry that happened to you, buddy. Jesus. That's Angela. We've seen that already. Fuck. The puppet is missing. Hey, check this out. The enclosed poppet 
or doll, is thought to have originally belonged to a child in the late 1600s. Creepy. Shit, wait, I got it. This missing doll has got to be the one I saw with the kid. You think? That's kind of weird. Kind of weird? This place is full on nightmare central. I don't want to stay here any longer than I have to. With you on that. Come on, this way up. Perfect timing. Let's take a break. And I will see you on the next episode of the Dark Pictures Anthology, Little Hope. Until then, oh, thank you everybody for watching. Have fun whatever you do. Take care of yourselves. And do not forget, keep on gaming. I will see you all next time.